Hi mga kapatid, no? muli po akong nagbabalik Ako nga po pala si Kuya G at ito po ang numero ni G So sa video ito, pag-aaralan na po natin Ang last series no? sa pag-aaral natin Sa general mathematics Which is yung function defined by equation So kung ikaw ay hindi pa nakapanood Doon sa first two series Na, uh, na in-upload ko dito Is nasa description po yan no? So huwag na tayo magpahuli pa At uh, umpisahan na natin Ang lesson na ito sa video ito So, let us now understand the concept of function defined by equation. So, mga kapatid, so, simula na po natin ang pag-aaral. Kung bago ba malalaman na ang isang function or ang isang equation ay function. Okay? Function defined by equation. To find the equation, if function or not a function, we need to solve the value of y unit to it. Okay? So, let us compare the function and not a function sa isang equation. So, unang-una, kapag function, dapat po ang exponent ng y is odd numbers. So, tulad lamang po nito, y is equal to f of x. Y, dahil wala kayong nakikita ng number na y, automatic po, meron po exponent na 1 po yan. Okay? Next, y cube. So, or y raised to the third power. So, uh, ang y is the odd number, so function din po yan. Kaya po magre-represent po siya ng y is equal to a cube root of f of x. Paano naman kapag natin function? Magiging natin function siya kapag yung y ay even number or yung exponent ng y ay even number. Okay? So example na lamang po neto, y squared is equal to f of x. So ibig sabihin, y squared it means you need to get the square root of the f of x kapag y squared y to the raise y raise to the 4th power 6 and 8 okay so basta any even number yung exponent ng y not a function kapag po add number ng exponent ng y that is function okay what shall we learn from this video to simply look the equation if function or not so, dito natin makikita kapatid. No, titignan lang ba natin yung tingnan lang natin yung equation. Pag nakita natin to ay function to ay hindi to function. Yun yung unang yung malalaman. Pangalawa, to solve the y in the given equation, it need to solve. Kasi may mga given tayo na naka final answer na. No? So, let us proceed. Yan, determine the equation if function or not. So, y is equal to 5x. So, you can, uh, hindi na natin kailangan mag-solve dito. Tignan nyo na lang yung y. So, y. y raised to the 1 yan. Pero, or y lang yan. So, that is function. Tandaan na, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 is a function. 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, not a function. Okay? Next. Determine the equation if function or not. Yes. So, makikita ninyo y is equal to square root of 2x. So, tignan nyo yung y. Y, dahil walang number, automatic may 1. So, 1 is the odd number. So, that is function. Sir, may problema po. Sabi niyo po pag may square root plus or minus. So, nakita niyo naman yung equation, kapatid. That is final answer na. Kung baga nasagot na po yan. So, mali ba na lang, huwag na gagawin negative yung nasa loob ng radical. No? Kasi wala na siyang value nun eh. Next. Determine the equation. So, x squared plus y squared equals 4. So, titignan niyo po yung exponent ng y. So, that is 2. 2 is a even number. So, that is not a function because the exponent of y is even numbers. Okay? So, paano ba natin siya iso solve? Yan. y squared is equals to 4 minus x squared. Ibig sabihin yung x squared, ililipat mo na siya sa kabila. So, dahil nilipat mo sa kabila si x squared, magiging negative. Next. And then, kapag kukunin mo yung value ng y squared para maging y, syempre may positive negative siya. Tandaan na, kapag even number ang exponent ni y, automatic yan na a function. Kasi kapag kumukuha po tayo ng square root ng isang number, it's either positive and negative na po yung value niyan. Okay? So, mag-proceed na po tayo sa next example. Yan. So, x plus y cubed equals 8. So, tingnan mo lang yung y. Ano yung exponent ng y? That is 3. 
a new tree added in there. So, tree is a odd number. So, that is function because the exponent of y is odd number. Okay? So, let us solve. y cubed is equal to 8 minus x. Yung x na positive, pag dilipat mo sa kabila, ay magiging negative na po siya. So, that is the answer for example number 4. Okay, next. Yan. And then, kukunin mo yung cube root niya. Na yung cube root. So, that is 8 minus x. So, function pa rin naman po siya. Example number 5. x squared plus y equals 5. So, tingnan mo lang yung y. So, dahil walang exponent, matic function yan. So, because the exponent of y is odd number, that is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And then, you need to get the value of y. So, that is 5 minus x squared. Dahil yung x squared, ilikat mo na sa kabila, is magiging Ah, negative na siya. Okay, so let's proceed to the next example. Okay, proceed na. Yan, determine the equation if function or not. y is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 2. High fraction yan, basta tingnan mo lang yung 1. Pag walang exponent, that is function pa rin po yan. Okay, dahil nga po, ang exponent ng y is a odd number. Proceed. Determine the equation if function or not. So, yan. x is equals to square root of 5 minus y squared. So, tignan mo lang yung value ng y or yung exponent ng y. So, that is 2. Dahil 2, siyempre, uh, ang 2 ay even. So, that is not a function because the exponent of y is even number. So, ito po yung proof kung bakit siya uh, not a function. So, pakita natin yung coding. So, yan, mga kapatid. So, let us try or let us prove that the example number 7 is not a function. So, kung makikita po ninyo, merong x is equals to square root of 5 minus y squared. So, una, bago natin masolve yung value ng y, we need to, uh, kailangan natin tanggalin yung kanyang radical sign. So, paano natin tatanggalin yung radical sign? By simply what? No? So, ibig sabihin lamang po nito we need to distribute the squared here and to x at saka dito. So, ngayon, once na na-distribute na natin siya, ang mangyayari kay x is magiging x squared. And then, itong si 5 minus, uh, square root of 5 minus y squared, you need to cancel any. No, the radical sign, ibig sabihin po, kapag po mag squared tayo ng may radical sign, ang mangyayari is mawawala lang po yung radical sign. So, ganyan na po siya. Ngayon, let us try to solve the y. So, negative y squared, transpose mo siya, dito na siya. And then, 5. And then, yung x squared, dahil positive siya, magiging negative siya. And then, kailangan, we need to solve the value of y. So, we need to get the square root. So, y, and then, equals to positive, negative, square root of 5 minus x squared. So, this is not a not function. May ingay lang. Huwag nyo napansin nyo yan. <laughs> yan. So, that is our uh, example number 7. So, as conclusion, mga kapatid, identifying the equation if function or net is taking the exponent of range or y. So, that is our lesson for this video. Diyan na po nagtatapos mga kapatid ang uh, three videos about general mathematics. I hope na sana may natutunan ka sa tatlong videos na yon. So, ako po muli ay nagpapasalamat dahil po tayo ay dalawang daang subscribers na. no So, hindi ito madali para sa akin. No? At uh, talagang uh, masaya ako dyan sa mga ganyang uh, panahon. No? So, kung gusto pa malaman pa ang iba pang mga video, so manood ka lang dyan, visit my channel, and also, abangan nyo rin po sa YouTube channel ko yung mga susunod pa ng mga sequence or mga series na pag-aaralan pa natin sa General Mathematics at sa Facebook page din po, dun yung malalaman naman kung ano yung susunod na i-upload ko, ano naman po ba yung next na subject no, na ipi-feature ko sa ating YouTube channel. Muli po ako po si Kuya G. Nagpapasalamat po sa inyo at nagsasabi sa inyo na isang kasay sa inyo. Good morning.
Dahil nga imposible, gawin maling diskarte.